Rural teens interested in the creative arts may find it challenging to reach their goals, but one small main community is pumping millions of dollars into programs to connect people, especially the youth, to the arts. Serena Sanborn is the programming coordinator for Waterville Creates, a nonprofit promoting the arts in Waterville, Maine. What I'm hoping is we can actually entice teens to come out of their house to put down the screen, which is fine. Screens are fine, but like just um, a way for them to interact in their community and to also have new experiences. I do think if you're not exposed to, say, uh, a museum or plays or other things like that, you don't you wouldn't know that that's something that you love or you wouldn't know that it's something that you would excel at. I mean, I think you really need to actually have seen or heard or even know that that exists as a thing. Mike Perot is the executive director of the Maine Film Center. The organization partners with a local technical school to run a conference for over 200 students each spring. I think all students are creative. Um, I think it's, it's having the access to the tools and the training to actually um, articulate that creativity. And that's, that's our mission. That's what we seek to do through the Maine Film Center, through the Mid Maine Technical Center partnership, and through our conference and festival that we host for students every year. Molly Milligan plans to major in art education when she attends college next year. I think what more rural towns could do to get kids out of the house and to get them to be more creative is to let them know that those opportunities are out there. Like more, like maybe they should get involved with like social media more. Kylie Ham studies video production at Mid Main Technical Center. I think if a small town puts in the effort, then they could really shine in the creative arts. Every single kid has some percentage of creativity inside of them and it's just a matter of whether they want to take the risks or not. Brian Clark is the Vice President of Planning at Colby College, a private liberal arts school that has invested 65 million dollars into Waterville's downtown. The school has built a dorm, renovated several buildings, and is funding a new art center. Art is everywhere and we think at Colby, just like we think in Waterville, having a true commitment to the full breadth of the arts is what's going to distinguish us, it's what's going to attract and continue to attract incredibly talented and diverse students to come to Colby and to be here in Waterville and we hope that they will stay. I think it's really great that they're doing all these things with arts because like it's something I'm interested in and I hope that other people will also be interested in it. The opportunity to redesign public green spaces and bring arts and public art into, uh, into public spaces downtown, to do that in conjunction with a major new art center that's being planned for the center of Main Street to me, it seems that it's really only just scratching the surface, that there will be other investment that will follow, that this will be a partnership with Colby, with private investors, with the government, and with foundations that are coming together in Waterville because they see incredible opportunity and impact here. I think creativity, like I think creativity is, um, is how human beings are naturally, and that we often get shut down in school or in other situations where we don't realize that we are creative beings and that when that creativity is there and nurtured and all of those things, it creates a learning human being that also adds to our society.